Death Row being as strong and powerful as it was, that was a place to be. It was just freaking free for all. It was young black people with money. We was having a good time. For Pac, it was great. After sitting for so long, are you kidding me? There were chicks running through the halls half naked. You can get a fist for that. It was a dog pound working over here, Snoop working over there. It ain't no party like a dog pound party because the dog pound party on. It was electric for him. <laughs> Tupac, he was back on the right track. <laughs> <laughs> But something went wrong at death row during those times. I think the good times brought a lot of bad times, too. I mean, it's liquor infused. There's weed. There's, I'm sure, all types of other drugs. If you can while we're waiting or whatever, can we just get that bottle of Hennessy and the drinks? Yeah. Yeah. Bottle of Hennessy. So from those usage, especially the over drinking, a lot of things, fights, it became ghetto. It, it was like rolling up in the hood instead of rolling up to a recording studio. The world got politics, but then you got ghetto politics. So anytime it was some aggressive, it was definitely for a reason. It goes back to my upbringing. You can't build nothing strong without rules. The atmosphere changed, because at this point, you know, shit became like menacing. It was like, it was hard to be around him. We had a disagreement. He picked me up, threw me across the room. <laughs>